Okay, good. Thanks, you guys, for coming out. Um, as you know, these events that have unfolded today began at around 8.45 a.m., so we're only about an hour, hour, 15 minutes from when these uh, events transpired. And so the information I'm getting ready to provide for you is very preliminary in nature. So if we have to bring you back out or we have to do something downtown or send something in print that will either give you an update or more details or possibly amend what I'm going to say right now, then we'll certainly do that. We've done that before. But so far as we can uh, ascertain right now, at around 8.45 this morning, police officers here in the 24th District responded to a call for a fight on the highway. <clears throat> Excuse me, the first responding officer arrived and there was some sort of commotion right here in the middle of the block on the 3500 block of Belgrade Street. And during that commotion uh, involving civilians, multiple of the civilians that were in the commotion began pointing to someone, a male who was involved in that commotion, saying, that's him, officer, that's him. Well, that male uh, very quickly entered a property, a residential property on the block right across the street from the graveyard. Uh, we were able to learn that that property is not one that's affiliated with that individual, uh, he doesn't live there, the person who owns and occupies the place does not know him. Uh, the officer made very brief contact with the occupant of the residence and asked, you know, uh, is that person someone should be in your house? She very adamantly indicated that that's not the case. By that time, he had made his way into the house. And I should just point out that the reason uh, the doors open is while this commotion is going on, and again, this homeowner is not involved in that commotion, but while it's going on, she just happened to open the door to take either her daughter or her granddaughter to school. So in the midst of all of this, her door is open and this individual enters her property. The officer enters the property as well and engages the individual, asks him to show his hands, gives him commands to show his hands. The individual wouldn't show his hands. The officer actually had his taser out at the time as he's giving the commands. Well, when the individual did show his hands, he actually produced a, a knife. At that point, the officer holstered his taser and produced a city-issued firearm and gave him additional commands. At that point, the male uh, lunged at the officer in aggressive fashion with the knife. The officer discharged a city-issued firearm one time, striking the male one time in the chest. At or around that time, additional officers began to arrive and they were able to not only create distance between the male and the knife, they were able to uh, get him into custody and also take him to Temple Hospital. And we just learned at around 9.20 this morning that male was in fact pronounced at Temple Hospital. So the police took him there, but he was in fact uh, pronounced. As you can see behind me, the officers from the Officer Involved Shooting Investigation Unit are out there. They're, st they're uh, doing the investigation. So we have a lot of witnesses to interview. We have a lot of uh, officers that have to be interviewed. So again, this is very early in the investigation, but I'll do my best to answer any questions that you might have right now. Was so there anyone else inside the house when you entered it? From what we understand, it's it's the homeowner and a, and a child. It's either a daughter or a granddaughter. Uh, so far as we can ascertain at this moment, there was no one else in the house. Certainly no one else on the floor. These events happened, I should have mentioned, on the first floor. And uh, there was certainly no one else on the first floor besides the officer, the male in question, and uh, the uh, homeowner and the, the young child. So while it's happening out on the street, he sees the open door, and in, 20, in five seconds, he's he, he runs... As best as we can determine, Steve, now, that that is what we believe, that it's in just a matter of happenstance, that as this is going on, the homeowner's opening her door to take her child or her grandchild to school, he must see that opportunity and he enters the property. But again, they, there's there's no affiliation or no connection to him in that property and to him and that, the person that lives there. Is the man with the knife from this neighborhood? As far as we can under, uh, ascertain right now, no. But I want to be careful because, again, I just indicated that he's been pronounced. We certainly have to notify family, so I want to be, I'm, I'm being deliberately uh, scanned on details about who he is until we can make sure his family is notified. And as best you can tell, Captain, what is going on on the street with him and how many others? We're still trying to sort that out. We, uh, I was told a crowd, I, I got differing numbers, but don't forget, by the time the officer's there, people uh, arise. People that may have been there initially may not have still been there. Other people may have begun to arrive. So I don't want to put a number out there that we're going to have to adjust. But as, as many people as we could uh, uh, identify at, by the time we got there, we'll be interviewed by our officer involved Would, shooting investigation. Let me get them. Steve. Were those people from um, this neighborhood? So far as we can understand, so far as we can ascertain, yes. So some kind, some kind of fight on the street? Some kind of fight, some sort of uh, altercation. I don't even know if the fight got physical, but it was some kind of commotion. And when the officer showed up, and again, with any assignment, the officer is going to start trying to figure out what he or she is actually responding to. And the, the first indication given to the officer was people, you know, unanimously identifying this one person saying that's him officer that's him presuming presumably that's the subject of the reason we called or someone called the police while this is going on and the officer is trying to get that information this individual has already uh, made his way into that property was the entrance. knife his or was it one he got from the home we don't know yet at this point because we don't know what he was able to put his hands on by the time he got in that brief time between the time he got in and the time the officer got in what was the initial point? call for 
uh, fight the the call as broadcast by radio was fight on the highway. So I don't know specifically what was told to the dispatcher, but the way we classify uh, codes based on or calls based on the information given to the to the uh, call taker, it was broadcast to the police officer as fight on the highway. Was it Which right way here? How far are we from? Uh, the, right here on the street, Belgrade, yeah. and it's right in the middle of the street, about uh, closer to this end of the block. But it's the other block. It's the block on the other side. You see what I'm saying? How yeah. close was this little girl to all of this, or the child? Like, as close as the the, the uh, mother or grandmother. Um, now again, at the at precise moment of the discharge, I don't know if they were inside or had they gone outside. Uh, but we know the officer and the subject were inside. And the officer and the subject are literally the officer has to make a split second decision: taser or gun. Yes, and initially it was taser because at that point the the individual wasn't showing his hands one way or the other. But when he shows us at least the one hand, it has the knife in it. The officer then holsters the taser, produces a city-issued firearm, and continues to give commands. But at that point, the uh, the individual approached the officer aggressively with the knife. I don't, I don't, you're not releasing the name of the suspect, but do you know the name of the suspect? At some, at some we're, we have an idea of what the name is, but again, we want to confirm it um, before we release it. We wouldn't release it yet anyway. Because but we, you have an we, idea who he is. we we believe we do based on maybe information that we that was present with him. But again, it's it's so early. I hate to say a name, and it's not. And again, we have not notified family or anything like that. Was it one shot fired? One shot from the officer's uh, city issued firearm. Um, and uh, the officer, by the way, if I didn't mention, uh, he has been on the force since 2002. So a 16 year veteran. Yep. Uh, all of his time has been in the 24th district. Got it. Did this start with a robbery? We don't know. We, we don't know. Certainly, burglary would be among the things that happened because he's entered the property without permission um, and in defiance of the of the uh, of the owner's wishes. Well, I mean, the the original argument, you don't know what the we don't know. But 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 he but when but when the when the guy sees the officers in the midst of the argument, the door happens to open. It just happens. Now again, that may have been right as the officers arriving. I I don't have the precise timeline if the officers there at the moment he walks in. At, at, at the moment he enters the property, yep. but what I do know is, by the time the officer's asking the homeowner what you know, is, is, you know what's going on, is everything okay? She's saying, no, he's in the house, and I don't know who he is. How far between the call and you and, and officers arriving here and speaking to the homeowner? Do you happen to have a? I don't have a precise timeline. What I do have is that the call, it, that the calls started being broadcast for service. And again, I'm not sure exactly what time the calls were made to 911, but they began being broadcast at or around 8:45. Mm -hmm. So. That's the best I can do for you. Do you right know now. the age range of the uh, suspect? Not at this time. I'm not entirely sure. I want to make sure when we do put it out, we get it right. And the people in the home, uh, it was the mother and the daughter? It's or? either grandmother and okay. granddaughter or mother and daughter. It's Got a, it. a female parental figure with, a, it's either daughter or granddaughter. But it's a, certainly a school age child because that's yeah. where she was taking her. Yeah. Taking her. Taking her. Taking her. Taking her. I, all right, anything, I think if we have anything, much yeah, no, much. Uh, all good. Um, going to hang out here, obviously. Yeah, if you want to hang, you know, get more, more gold. If, if something happens before I leave, I'll just bring you back. I'm probably going to take off very shortly to uh, get.